What's up guys? It's Tom. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to use sidechain compression on your bass track triggered from your kick drum to get that killer larger than life EDM gigantic bass sucking sound. All right, so we're here in Logic Pro. I've already got a session set up. As you can see here, I've got my bass track. It's just a MIDI bass track. And then I've got my kick drum and my snare drum. So here's what we have right now. Just a very simple bass line with a big fat kick drum and a big old snare drum. This is very a very distilled version of what you're going to encounter in any of your EDM sessions. But for all intents and purposes, this is exactly what you're going to be working with. So we've got our bass track, kick drum, snare drum. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go and we're going to add a compressor to the bass track. And I'm just going to use Logic's stock compressor. I like this compressor and uh, just figure out some settings. I usually, depending on what I'm working with, uh, you know, I will usually start with the Studio FET and then go out from there. So we're going to start with Studio FET and then we're going to see what we can do. So what you're going to do is you're going to go up here to the top right hand corner of your compressor window, you're going to see side chain. So right now it's selected none. You're going to go to audio, kick. So we're going to select the kick drum. I'm going to switch this to graph so you can see what's happening here. So right now, if we turn this off, if we turn off no side chain, here's our graph. I'm going to solo the bass. So you can see what the compressor is doing up here to the bass track. Now let me turn on our side chain and you can watch what's happening. So those spikes are every time the kick drum hits. So now let's unsolo it, let's get our kick and snare back in here, and then we'll adjust and tweak some parameters a little bit to figure out how we want it to sound. And there you go, that big ducking, sucking bass sound that you get with all the big EDM songs that you want, your future bass tracks, your melodic bass tracks, things like that. And you can change all these parameters to figure out what you want to do. If you'll notice, I was adjusting the attack and the release. And what those two do is the attack is the amount of time between when the, the compressor is triggered and when the compression peaks and squashes the most. So when that kick drum hits on one with a longer attack, that means when the kick drum hits, the compressor is going to dial up and get to peak compression. And then the release is the exact opposite of that. How long does it take from the time it's squeezing the hardest until it lets all the way up back to zero? And the by adjusting the attack and the release is where you're going to get that slow pumping thing that you want to do. Now, if you have a fast attack and a fast release, it's going to cut really quick. Boom, boom, and you're not going to be able to get that slow pulsating sound that you want to get with that big low end part. So just for argument's sake, I'll show you what it's like with a short release and a short attack. So we're going to go all the way down here on both of them. You hear how it almost distorts because it's hitting so hard so quickly. So the way to do that is we're going to pull some of the uh, some of the gain back down, the makeup gain back down on its way out. So because the bass is such a long, drawn out wave, it is a lot better to use a longer release and a longer attack so that you can get 
the full breadth of that wave shrinking and coming back up. Otherwise, it's going to clip and it's not going to sound as good. And that's not really the results we're looking for anyway, is it? So I'm going to go back to, and we'll go around an 18 second attack and we'll go to like a 200 millisecond, uh, not 18 second, 18 millisecond and a 200 millisecond release. Move some of this back a little bit and we'll see what we get back again. So there you go. That is how you're going to make that gigantic kick drum and bass relationship in your EDM productions using sidechain compression in Logic Pro in this instance, but you can do it in any DAW. Most compressors are going to have a sidechain option. Just route it to your kick drum, bring it back, and adjust your parameters to how sounds good to you because whatever sounds good to you is what is right. So that's it for today. If you want to learn about anything else, hit me up in the comment section. Let me know what it is you would like to know, and I will do my best to distill it down and uh, help you figure it out. And if you get value from this, if you like these videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I appreciate you guys. I'll catch you next time. Peace.